Follow through and overlapping action are one of Disney's 12 basic principles of animation introduced by the Disney animators Ollie Johnston and Frank Thomas in their book, The Illusion of Life. It's the inertia or momentum of an object's different parts. Overlapping action is when you start a second action before the first action has completed. Follow through happens at the termination of an action. What does that mean for motion graphics or character animation? Adding overlap and follow through to different objects in your scene gives a complexity and fluidity to the motion. Objects feel more physical because they appear to have weight. We can achieve this in After Effects in a few ways. You can offset the keyframes of your layers. This method is certainly flexible because each keyframe is handled individually, but it's very difficult to make changes because you have to account for each of the keyframes for every property that you're animating. There's the native echo effect in After Effects. If you're only gonna work with one object, this is okay, but its controls are limited. Your driven layers all need to start and end at the same position. Then there are existing scripts and effects, but these are usually limited to a layer's transform properties like position, scale, rotation. Many only repeat and overlap just one object, like the echo effect. They can also be slow and hard to edit because they add a lot of expressions your project may not need. I'm excited to introduce you to a new method you can use. It's called Overlap. With Overlap, you don't need to adjust tons of keyframes, just the ones on your driver layer. Overlap uses the existing layers in your project. There's no need to add controls, layers, or compositions that can slow down your work. With Overlap, you're in control. To get started, simply add keyframes to one of your layers. This will be your animation's driver. Select the driver and all of the layers that you want to overlap. Then click the Overlap button. Overlap will show you which animating properties all of your layers share. You can also dive into the Preferences panel to choose which controls you want in your scene. Click OK and you're good to go. For more on using Overlap, check out the AE Scripts product page. If you need support, make sure to visit the Help section or message me directly through my website, blastframe.com. Thank you for your interest in overlap.